Hey friends, this is Jill in Black Mountain, North Carolina. I am back um, talking a bit more about my Eco Brick project. Some of you already know about this, some of you are going to be new to it, so I'll fill you all in on what's going on. My plan this spring is to build a chicken coop, and I'd like to use um, some recycled materials in my coop, and primarily I want to build the walls out of plastic bottles. This is called eco brick construction. Uh, I learned about this online. I've seen this done in Guatemala in a really cute hotel that I stayed in um, where you could visibly see um, that the walls were made out of these plastic bottles. My walls are going to be plastered to insulate a bit more, but I'm going to need a lot of them for the project and it takes about one week for my household to make a single eco brick. Um, so I am recruiting help. If you would like to get involved, please stick around, listen, I will teach you how to make an eco brick. So you start off with a plastic bottle. Um, this is a one liter bottle. This is my preferred size for this project, but I am also happy to accept smaller sizes. I think this is probably like a 15 ounce ish bottle. Um, even those tiny eight ounce bottles, I'll probably have room for some of them in my walls. Uh, two liter bottles are gonna be too big for my walls, but I will have room for some of them underneath the coop. So if all you have is two liter bottles, I can accept some of them as well, um, but the smaller ones are preferred. So what you do when you're making an eco brick is if it has a label on it, let's peel the label off of it um, and Hmm. Let's see. Well, I can't get this label off. I will get a scissor and do that label later. Um, so some of these that I got, um, I've had some great help. Anita and Harold dropped off four bottles today. Um, and my friend Nancy is making bottles. My mom is making bottles. <laughs> um, lots of you have volunteered your help. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, so when you're making the bottles, try to get your label off. You can stuff it in if it's plastic. And what I'm filling the bottles with are just all of my plastics or non-biodegradable things, which you have more than you realize in your house. So there's the obvious ones, like here's a package from seaweed. Here's um, my dynamite <laughs> coffee bag. Um, here's from like the top of vitamins. It's like foil and plastic. I tear the windows out of my envelopes and um, I put the paper through my shredder and I give it to my worm composting bin. But there's all kinds of little plastics in the world. Also disposable face masks. These are plastic based. They will not biodegrade. Um, so these things can go into the bottles. Um, chip bag. I have a whole mess of things here. I have some dental floss that's plastic based. Uh, so as you can see, oh, here's some water testing strips from my aquarium. Uh, all of these things are plastic based. Also foil is fine too, because um, it won't break down. But you just don't want to be shoving a bunch of paper in the bottles because it will biodegrade and then your bottles will have dip. So the main idea is that you stuff enough things in the bottle to make it completely firm. So like these bottles are great. They don't have any give. I can't squeeze that at all. This one still has a little bit of give as you can see. Um, so I use a stick from my yard. You can use the handle from a wooden spoon if you want. Um, and sometimes you have to cut the plastic into pieces like these chip bags. I cut them into a few pieces. But I just use a stick and shove them in the bottle um, and try to work it down into the bottle really well and you're going to be amazed at how much stuff will fit in a single bottle. So I have two bottles here that are mostly full, like they have, I don't know how much plastic in them, but they're really full already and this whole pile is probably going to fit in these two already mostly full bottles. Um, that's why it takes me so long to make one of these bricks and why I'm reaching out for help from other people. So um, if you want to join in on this project, get a hold of some bottles. If you don't buy any plastic bottles, ask your neighbors and friends or go out and pick up trash like 
by a river or a lake or something, um, and you will find these models and you can use them. Uh, and we can keep all of this plastic waste out of our landfills. Um, as you know, like some of this plastic stuff ends up in the recycling. Most of it doesn't actually end up getting recycled, especially plastic bags. Uh, there's not a lot of demand for these plastics. And so even if you put it in recycling, it's probably going to a landfill, unfortunately. Um, this is a way to keep it out of the landfills. So um, for the, my friends who have put together bottles and brought them for me, what I've done is written their names down on little pieces of paper. You can do this yourself when you drop your bottles off for me. Just put your name on the piece of paper and get it to me and I will put it in my jar for the drawing for prizes. So every bottle gets you one entry. The prizes will be um, things like homemade soap, um, some sourdough bread, things like that. Uh, so other things, oh, try to, when you make your bottle, when you finish it, if you will, write an intention on the bottle. Um, maybe an intention that you have for your community, an intention that you have for the planet, whatever it might be that you want to put into the universe and have encapsulated in my chicken coop. Um, so let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, if you want to help out with this project, I would be so, so grateful. Um, please drop me a line. Um, let me know what you're working on. If you have any problems or questions, um, I cannot help with the fact that it's a lot of work <laughs> to shove all the plastic in the bottle and get it tight. Um, but you can think of it as a good like upper body workout. It's winter time. We all need a little exercise anyway. So with that said, I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay warm and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.